What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Gym Floor. We had three topics planned today. We got through one of them, but it was really good. Uh, <laughs> we did our goal setting module in Standout PT yesterday, and Jason and I actually jumped in and did it with the guys. So, just sharing our experiences of uh, essentially just building out where we want to be in three years, and then looking into what we think maybe prevents. Uh, trainers moving from beginner stages of business and into the big goals that they actually have. One of them being admitting what they are and two of them is like getting in their own way. We just talk about some strategies of maybe being able to overcome that. What really matters, whether what you do is more important than or who you are and how to actually navigate that because there's this weird conundrum that they overlap, which is a cool discussion. But yeah, fun episode. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, next week, we'll be into some practical stuff because we've been talking mentality for a few weeks now. So we'll be talking about how to maximize your business over Christmas and also uh, what we learnt creating these programming workshops. So anything new that's kind of come front of mind in the way that we execute our programming or even just communicate it uh, to the trainers that we educate. So keep an eye out for that one. The best way to get hold of that is to make sure you subscribe. So then you'll get notified that there's a new episode out. Lastly, we have just launched STC Socials. Uh, So if you are struggling with your social media, not sure what to do, looking for a little bit of help, uh, we can come in at either telling you what to do, doing it with you or doing it for you. Uh, So price points to suit every personal trainer, whether you just need a little bit of help or you need to outsource and get some of it off your plate. Um, or you're just overwhelmed by it and you'd rather someone else do it for you. Or maybe you've got a big business and you just don't have time. We can help you out with that. Crystal's incredibly talented at what she does. Um, We're super excited to have her as part of the team. So welcome to Crystal as well. And yeah, you can check out the socials for a little introduction for that and then head to the website as always and you'll be able to find the socials. Value Compass freebie is still on the website as well. So if you want to check that out, Uh, make sure that you've actually built a business that has a place in the market. You're not just floating and not sure why you're doing what you're doing uh, or wondering why you can't get clients or your socials suck. Check out the Value Compass free download with the PDF and the live workshop, about 60 minutes. Okay, get to the episode. Have fun. See you next week. You know what I mean? Tam, is that rolling? Okay, we might have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, wasn't and that, now it's rolling. It wasn't that bad, but still going to still cut that just, out. It was just useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no one's going to care. Yeah. yeah. So, I watched four births. Oh, yeah, tell us Monday. about... So, that was education, education day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're doing... It's called hypnobirthing. Yep. So, you like leverage, meditation hypno status to like stay calm yeah so we're doing home birth right so basically what I've basically figured out is <clears throat> hormonally for the woman if you're stressed shit just stops okay so like labor slows down baby's just like nah bro it's not safe out there I'm not coming okay so you have to just find ways to just bring everything down as often as possible while they're in a great deal of pain. I was just about to say, it sounds <laughs> easier said than done. <laughs> as a child trying to just escape just their body. Down, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, what did she say? Uh, Mel's like, you have to do everything you can to get her to relax without ever saying the word relax. relax. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. She's like, just treat her like a toddler, basically. From the time she goes yeah. into labor. It's like, we're going to go outside. We're going to go have a shower. Yeah. We're going to stand up. We're going to do this. It's just like, tell three words only. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. So but, you're all getting training for that. Well, yeah. So like... Was Amy there when you... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's like the... I think the course is a total of 12 hours. Yeah. So with three... First three online, six in person. And I think the next three are in person as well. Um, so obviously most of it's focused around Amy. Yeah. Um, but like the whole point of the midwives and that that we're using is sort of like they're just there almost in case. 
and our head midwife is like, we'll just direct. So our goal is to do as little as possible and just tell us what to do. So you're the the head nurse, basically. Basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and she'll be, she'll like pull me aside and be like, you should do this. Right. So if she's like, Amy needs to go outside, she'll be like, tell me to make it happen. So she's like the foreman and you're like the supervisor. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm the... You're, yeah. the, you're the site supervisor. They're the coach and I'm <laughs> on, on field captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or the yeah, runner almost. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. How yeah. do you feel about that? Yeah, cool. Yeah? Yeah. Good? Now I think more, I actually... More confident? The end of that day, I was like super overwhelmed. More yeah. just because like it got real, real quick. Did you see the the birth or... Bro, yeah. Four of them. The bad ones? Uh, look, remember how we're talking about how you saw the good one and it just kind of like, ah, it just happened. Yeah, so that one, yeah, it was interesting. These ones were much better in terms of like being real. Realistic, yeah. But it's also like, it's called Hypnobirth Australia is like the course and then the lady we work with is like the facilitator of it. Right. So it's pre-done content. Yeah. So the Hypnobirth place that's telling you that everything's going to be fine, you'll be able to be relaxed and it's all going to be great, probably aren't going to show you like women punching their husbands because they're in so much pain. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> And they want, because again, if you're apprehensive, it makes everything worse. Of course. It fucks the hormonal yeah, cascade. So it's good like, vibes you only. have to go in yeah. like, I'm going to be fine. Yeah. You don't want to, you can't see the worst case scenario because you don't want to know that that's a thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. But fuck. I don't know <laughs> if you've ever watched a TV show or a movie and it's like, they all say push. Mm. Everyone yells, baby comes out. Yeah. In one fluid motion. Yeah. But that does not happen. That is the lie. Well, there's like, what, that's a very small percent from what we were talking about, right? So, the the crowning stage? So, you know, they're like, I can see the head, baby. Yeah. Nah. What else is? Like, 30 minutes is good, three hours is normal. What else is? <laughs> <laughs> what? And I was just like, Jesus. what do you mean? Three hours. Yeah. So people are always like, oh, you wouldn't like, women are obviously always worried, like, you've seen me like that. And it's yeah, like, that, that didn't even, that thought didn't cross my mind. Yeah. It's just like, oh, it's doing the thing, whatever. Yeah. But I was like, how, how long is this kid going to stay there for? Yeah. Like, half the head out. And then there's even like breathing techniques that fuck it up. So if you breathe in for too long, the cervix, like, the way the musculature works, it like pulls the kid back up. Ooh. And then when you exhale and bear down is the term. Right. We bear down, we don't push. Just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and it's just like, yeah, it's this whole thing. And then like, there was one that's like, the head was out for fucking ages, man. Isn't, it, isn't that the hardest part? Yeah, but it was like, that was it. It's nothing just needed a, broad, just needed a minute. Broad shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wild. It's the next wild. greatest swimmer of all time. To yeah, be yeah, yeah. Because I literally was just like, cool, there's going to be lots of yelling, then there'll be a head, and then it'll just yeah, come it'll just, out. Yeah, you and think I was like, oh, no, out. that's like, like they move, bro. Like from the bath to the toilet to stand up to squat. What, with it there? Back. Yeah, bro. Jeez. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. That'd be so uncomfortable. It's wild. It's like having a football. You know? <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Wow. Insane. I'm I'm lost for words. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be a lot. Yeah. Good luck with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think So I, what's the hypno thing? Do you hypnotize the person? Oh, yes, no, I, so I, I don't wanna you know, that's a yeah, very yeah. naive thing for me to say. So it's but. more like um we'll have Amy will have like self-guided meditations that Why, she, from someone or herself just from herself yeah, or yeah. we can play them um, yeah. so if she starts to get overwhelmed yeah. or whatever we did this like anchoring technique <laughs> you know how we always laugh about like in NLP how you like touch the leg when you ask about the dead dog and then use it when you sell later yeah so we have like a safety anchor uh, right. Amy's is on like the back of her neck so right. if I like cup the back of her neck it's like you're all good Okay. So she starts. Is that an to, agreed upon position? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like <laughs> it's like 
Amy's usually like lower back. Right. It's like her yeah. sensory spot. Um, but yeah, it's just the top of the neck was better. She liked it more. So you test it. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, a few different spots. Um, and then, so like Amy doesn't like, you know, like back tickles. Yeah. One of the meditations is just that. Oh, yeah. So it's like a, a touch and a guided meditation. Sounds amazing. Bro, I went first. And I sort of said to Mal, As in like, you got the back tickle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said to the instructor, I'm like, I usually, I think like seven minutes is the best I've ever done with like headspace. And I was agitated, like it was hard. She's like, oh, okay, we'll just see how we go with the tickles. Yeah. Oh, fuck, bro. You can watch a whole movie. <laughs> I had Indy at one stage came up and like opened my hands and was licking me like, bro, yeah. I want a pat. Yeah. The gardeners had arrived. Yeah. So there's Loma in the backyard and shit. Indy was walking around all over the place. And like the instructor was just gangster, just like kept going. Oh, so she just... Oh, just went straight she? through it. And That's I was bad. like, okay, came out. And she's like, how long do you think that was? I was like, oh, I don't know, a couple of minutes, maybe three minutes. She's like, you're under for eight minutes. Yeah. It's like, fucking hell. So just adding the touch, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we just have to do it. Like Amy likes like a rub, not a tickle. If it tickles, she's like, yeah, she gets to so fucking touch me. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do you, so you don't get, you don't get the Nothing, tickle. bro. Yeah, you got to just, yeah. <laughs> It's not bad, you. (laughs) You just got that one that time. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. Yes. (laughs) I I liked it. I think it was a little bit of like, uh, let me show you. Of course. How good this is. So so you can do it for her. Correct. Yeah. So you understand. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. What it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It was good. We've got this like fucking, I can't remember what it's called. It's like fucking two meter long piece of fabric yeah and I've got to like um, I can't remember what she called it basically l- lift so Amy's like on all fours lift her stomach up and then like twist it around to right. like move the baby into the right position and all this crazy shit it's wild insane so the first book I picked up to read about like it, it's your it's um. so you're having a baby what do you do yeah. And like the first chapter was obviously like them actually having the baby. And the first excerpt from the dad was I went to the hospital knowing I'd be useless. I was. I just stood in the corner and that was it. And I was like, okay, I'm not reading any more of this book. <laughs> and then I posted it and so many people were just like, really? I'm like, yeah. Like most men are just like, oh, the doctors will do it. Yeah. So it's been cool. It's been cool to unpack it. Yeah. But yeah. Learned some stuff, saw some stuff. Yeah, learned some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's my life. Yeah. Mine's much simpler than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, so I have topics for today. Yeah. I have three planned good Amazing. topics. Uh, so we both did the goal setting standout PT mm. module yesterday. We did. Which... I feel like I've announced the mentality coaches, I've had Loz on the podcast, mm. done mentality week, then we've done goal setting week. It's just been a lot, <laughs> a lot in that space at the moment. Mm. So we are going to talk about Christmas and we are going to talk about programming today. Of course. But what, how did you go? How long has it been since you actually executed that one? Uh, I haven't done that one ages, but I feel like when we did the... Um, the Empire Weekend, like we still... A lot of it. Like the, not the tangible goals, but the like what's getting in the way. Because you know yeah. how we were like, what are the things and... Yeah. You know, I was like, oh, I've already... Yeah, yeah. I've had this honest conversation with myself. <laughs> yeah. I cried to a fucking stranger about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that part of it, I had, I I still did it, but I was like... Yeah. It kind of changed it's a tiny easier. bit. It kind of changed a tiny bit. It was like, what are the, some of the things you have to do? But anyway, I'm, we're going all over the joint. So, <laughs> the tangible goals, uh, the three-year goals were a little bit different mm-hmm. just because of what's been happening in the last six months. Yeah. Um, more see myself as m- rem- being removed out of the business finally. Yeah. And facilitating operators. Other stuff, yeah. Yeah, so like getting the most out of 
the team mm -hmm. and getting the most out of the businesses um, as well. Yeah. So I could see, I could actually, that was cool. Mm. I could see it. Yeah. Um, the gym was still there because that's, yeah, that's the, yep. the, the bucket list. And um, I could see the team we have now yep. in that mm -hmm. very confident, very vividly. Yeah. So yeah, that was good. But yeah, I think um, the re removing myself and, and facilitating as an operator was the big one. And then, um, you know, just like the skills thing, it's like, what does this person need to have? And I was yeah. like, and it's funny, like you were like, I need people, I need to be dependable and I need people to trust me. And I was like, I had dependability. Like, yeah, it's sick. The second one. <clears throat> um, yeah communication leadership yeah yeah a few other things i was like this person has these things yeah um so that was that was a big uh not an eye opener but i was like i know that there some of those things are are weaknesses that i possess if i think about all the skills that i have mm. so yeah. got to put because i've never really had to think about them yeah. like leadership i have you know like yeah. i feel like we're always going to be like am i a good leader like yeah you know, what could i do to be a better leader but the dependability thing is like knowing people need to go. Yeah, Jason's gonna take care He's of this for this. me or help me or yeah. guide me through this or, or yeah, whatever. I'll be okay because Jason's here. I've never thought about it that way. Yeah, even just as a brand, like as a business, mm. like we've never, like we've. I think it's important that people go. Oh, I've got these guys in my corner. Yeah, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. So yeah, that probably the biggest standouts I think yeah which I think if we look at the way the team's expanded and, and the moves we have made it's been off the back of that the people yeah. see us as that yeah but now we're because we've presented that now we need to feel it that like yeah. we are yeah yeah and we've proven it mm. the last couple of weeks like yeah things have been working very cohesively yeah yeah and we like changed some systems and yeah. we changed communications and where things live and I know even like just seeing that happen prematurely, I'm like, this is a good fucking move. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not, like one, I'm not going to have to hassle people for certain things, but because I can find them. Yeah. Um, and then two, it's like, I know if like we need something done at a certain time, it's like it gets done. Yeah. And that's only going to get better too. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder tying it back into the, to our listener. So the question we ask is like, we did a 10 minute visualization, which we'll come back to. So I'm curious what you saw. Then it was like, start to build the identity of the person that would have all that stuff. Yeah. That's essentially what the workshop is. Yeah. I've got my workbook here. What exactly do you want? Then who do you have to be to have it? Yeah. And then like, what are your shortcomings right now that you need to work on to get there? Yeah. yeah. I wonder what part of your personal training journey let's call it you switch from i need to be better at nutrition and sets and reps to things like dependability yeah leadership communication coaching wonder where that is yeah i get it does that happen at like when you get to a full book does that happen when you expand a team i think when you take on more responsibility yeah Whatever that is, you know, I think that you need to, some people will have that moment where they're just like, this is the same. Mm. The education as in, as in. Yeah. Um, and then they'll, they should be asking what's next. Yeah. And I reckon it, what's important. Uh, so this is the same as just like one person presenting macros. It's the same as another person presenting macros yeah, a different way. Yeah. Cause like, uh, you know, we've been, we went to a few things I'm not going to name names, but there was one where we got invited. I got invited to, mm. and I walked out. Yeah, a couple of hours in, and it had nothing to do with the content. Yeah, it was fantastic, presented well. Yeah, every person in the room that didn't know the content would have been perfect. I was just like, I was like, I've, yeah, I've heard this enough now. I need like, and yeah. my time. When you start to, your value your time, mm. you're like, I need to use this time somewhere else. else. Yeah, yeah, and I think. The doing the activity mm. will help you with that awareness. Yeah, you know, because if you just if you never look at the net like the goals again, 
you never know if you like how many of the people in standout were like oh i've actually done this 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 and this it's like cool so what are your next goals yeah jess was like oh yeah my <laughs> three-year one's done yeah in 12 months so, but if you don't revisit it you just think about that as the goal yeah so then it's like you never think about whether you've done it or not like yeah no reflection yeah so then yeah. you're like oh well what's next so it's like oh, i've d- i've got the full book i've i've done the nutrition certification i've yeah become a um a quote-unquote expert in this field yeah so now i need to think about what's next for me so i reckon most people who probably never get to that point probably never revisit mm. what that perfect week is or what, what like. that you know what that perfect lifestyle looks like or what's the next yeah. you know milestone that they want to work towards yeah we had a question q a last week i think that was like a trainer was like doing workshops for their clients was like should i charge for this yeah and we were a lot of business coaches would probably say yes you should demand it for your time blah 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 and i can see that angle too but i think from our own bias we got so much out of doing those and not really charging for them you can charge for them when they you when it's worth it yeah but it's like the value so what like what are you charging for yeah you're going to charge for the time right okay but what other value does that bring you yeah just presenting that workshop bring you it's like well i probably need to spend 2 weeks thinking about a very sp- maybe four very specific topic getting really good at it getting better at writing, getting good at writing slides, getting confident presenting to people, making sure that I speak in a language that my clients understand, being able to communicate a message that people understand, understanding human behavior better in that if I ask, are there any questions? No one will fucking ask any questions. Mm. Like the value that comes from all of those things, you're like, well, so the, the, the questions thing, right? If you learn that when you're presenting, Saying to someone at the end of a session, do you need anything from me? It's like, they're not going to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's a nice sign off and like I still advise people probably do it, but understand that you're not really opening up communication. There. Yeah. Unless you said, what's one thing I can do for you? Different question. Mm. So the value you're getting out of that hour presenting is greater than what they would pay you and the perceived value to your clients that are getting it is greater than what they would, you would charge. Yeah. So it's a very mutual thing there. But like you said, unless you actually take this stance of like, what skill sets do I need to go to the next step? Yeah. I can do sets and reps. I can do macros and calories. I can do, say you can do coaching language or maybe you can't. It's like, okay, yeah. well now I need to learn to maybe educate, maybe communicate better, maybe, you know what I mean? Mm. So then you look at, well, how do I do that? It's like, well, I'll present to my clients for free. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting. Yeah, I think, I I don't think, we talk about value as being like a really big contributor to your service, right? We want people to exponentially think that the value is greater than, than, than the fee, right? When you're at those stages of your personal training career where you're like, I think I should try this, mm. m- maybe you're maybe the best way to do that and hone and refine the craft of presenting or whatever is to just put yourself in an environment where you feel comfortable. But if the product isn't that great, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, and the people aren't upset about it because yeah. they're just coming along for the ride. Yeah. At some point, you will get to a a, a situation where you're like, All right, this is honed in amazing impactful uh i have demand and it warrants paying for that and other things that that whatever you're doing brings yeah yeah i agree so yeah i just i don't think you can't you can't just look at things in terms of time like i and I, and we you, everybody does and i think coming from a personal training background you will like you know it's yeah. like it's 30 minutes 45 minutes 60 minutes like Everything's kind of really charged on the time. Yeah. But if you want to run like a, a a business and build a brand and have people stay with you for long periods of time and want to, you know, immerse themselves in all of the things that your business does, mm. I think you just got to look a little bit further than that because it's like if everything we did was just like 
tangible. We do this, we get this. Mm. We don't travel. Yeah. We don't do workshops. Yeah. Like, because it's like some of them make lots of money, some of them don't. Some of yeah. them we lose money, but then it's like we get five or six clients and and in intakes yeah. into stand out PT in three six months time. Yeah. We can't quantify where those things came from. Yeah. So even this, the the best <laughs> example when we're having the conversation was this. Yeah. It's like the studio is worth five grand. Not yeah. including TAM stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then it's well at least for me to drive here, do it, go home. Yeah. It's five hours. Yeah. And then it's you know, Tam's time. Yeah. You know, making paying him for that and you know, yeah. it's, it's like all of it is Yeah. We can't sit there and be like, Oh, this podcast got got didn't get any clients this week, so we're yeah. not doing it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> okay, so it's worth fifteen hours across the group and say PT rates, it's like hundred let's say it's a hundred bucks an hour. Mm. It's like, okay, so I gotta make a hundred and fifty or fifteen hundred dollars an episode. Yeah. Otherwise it's not worth it. It's like okay, yeah. so what, do I put it on Patreon? Like what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then how many subscribers do I need at nine dollars a month to yeah. fucking pay what's that six grand a month? Yeah. It's like it's not yeah. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. So that should I think you'll you'll make a lot of decisions based on those considerations. Yeah. So what did you see in your vision? Like a really hectic gym. Yeah. Gym was the first thing. Yeah. It's yeah. I want it so bad, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't get it out of my head. Cool. Just like nice lighting, crisp, clean equipment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like lights around the mirrors, like you know, the lights above the top, like lots of black. Yep. Yeah. It's like I'm fucking in. It's like, like really today aesthetically maybe. <laughs> looking p- podcast studio. Yeah, like what yeah, it's good. Just really yeah, but you know, like I'm a real minimalist. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. like real clean and sharp and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's the biggest thing. Yeah, I need it in my life at <laughs> some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine was. Uh, Maybe more culture based. Yeah, it was really weird. It was like you know the uh, graphics of like when you have all the Dragon Ball Z characters on a poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like the main dudes are at the front, and then it's just like yeah, everyone contributing back. Yeah. So obviously, I had my family at the front, and then I had like the team. Yeah. And then just like every person that we could influence, mm. just like filled out behind me. Yeah, and I was like. And that's where it was like dependable, comfortable with being a leader, comfortable mm. taking full responsibility for all of that. Because that's been, I reckon that's probably been my biggest fear. What? It's just like taking on sole responsibility for everything. Yeah. It's like, no, someone else should do that. Someone else should do this. Yeah. So just accepting it like, that. no, no, it's going to do it. Yeah. And yeah, probably gonna fuck it up at some point. Yeah, which is terrifying because yeah. <laughs> there's so many people. I've thought back about that already. Behind, right? But it's like, it yeah, has to happen. You gotta do it. It has to happen. Yeah. yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. What were? So before we keep going, I just want to give you guys a little message about our Standout PT program. So Standout PT has been designed for personal trainers who want to sustain a long-term career in fitness, but right now they're sick of chasing clients, they're not making enough time for money, and they're super frustrated with the results that they're getting in their business, and they can't see themselves being here in three to five years' time. If you want to know more about the Standout PT program, head to stcfitlearning.com. Head to programs and all the details are there and you can book in your free exploration call where we can have a look and see whether or not that would actually be a suitable program for where your business is at right now. And back to the episode. What were your biggest like work on things? So dependability was one. Um, so I've got them here. Yeah, dependability and leadership is are the main ones because like I'm pretty organized. Um communication is pretty good i mean communication can be better like probably not communication in terms of like what's being done you know technology wise Mm -hmm. it's you know me learn learning to work with the person because you know like Mm -hmm. 
I said I showed you that message where I basically was just like, rah, like just fucking yeah, like going straight to solving the problem. Yeah, like when I speak. Yeah, and it's like that's not gonna be the best for everyone. Yeah, so I need to work on setting like the platform to absorb the next part of the problem. Yeah, you know, like there has to be words before I say this needs to happen, this needs to happen, yeah. this needs to happen. Yeah. Where I'm normally like when someone speaks to me and I need to solve something for them. Yeah. There's no Give words at the stuff yeah. uh, at the start. It's just do this. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do that. Yeah. And then it's like, let me know if you need any help. Yeah. And then I come back and say, hey, that sounded really fucking awful. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. yeah. And then I should I shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. Remember how we had the <laughs> that conversation of like stopping and being present before you go into the conversation yeah like outside the room you almost need to do that online well yeah before, before you, you speak before you do anything yeah 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 because it's funny i'll have awareness when i get upset now yeah, yeah. like we spoke about on the weekend so yeah if you get upset walk away yeah if if someone sends you a message that and you feel physically emotional about it don't reply back yeah but but when i'm not when I have the confidence to solve the problem or address whatever it is, you know, I don't take that step. Yeah. So, and then it's just bang. Like, yeah. So yeah, that's a big one. Cause yeah, moving forward, like they're going to be like, fuck, does he hate me? <laughs> you know, especially if it's yeah. like in a via an email or something, it's going to be so, yeah. Cause you know, smile and read something and it's fine. If you know, most yeah. of the time, like people are anxious, they don't know, yeah. like they're asking you to help them. Like they're going to read it thinking, you know, with a frown on their, you know, on their face or whatever and then yeah it kind of sounds like you're yelling at them right yeah yeah so definitely need to work on that yeah yeah and then that leads into like dependability is fine it's like meeting deadlines like being reliable mm -hmm. like I think if you assume responsibility like you have to like you have to be dependable yeah I think my biggest one in the dependability column at the moment is cons consistency with responses yeah so not, there's 18 things I need to do. So you, so these 18 things get bang, 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 bang. Yeah. And then tomorrow there's only two. So you get thought. Yeah. That's the one I'm trying to navigate the most at the, at the moment. Yeah. And I've like, even like consistency as well, right? So yeah. Like consistency with the dependability. It's like, yeah. Does every, so like, it's like the check-in thing, right? It's like, you've got your list. You go top to bottom one week and bottom to top the next week. Yes. Yeah. Because that is consistent yeah. dependability because everybody gets a similar version of you yeah. rather than like the person at the top always gets you fresh yeah. on a Monday. Yeah. Or tired. Yeah. Or not wanting to do the check ins. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. True. And then, yeah. but it's like the, you know, that 30th person. Yeah. I can't remember what I said yesterday. It's like, yeah. who's this person now? Yeah. Um, and you know, you're probably like, oh, you know, five minutes and I'm done for the day kind of yeah. thing. Like, you know, you're just like, I've just got to get through this one and I can get to this next task. Like, yeah. that's not, it's being dependable, but it's not being consistent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So I've been, I've been really working on just not responding letting notifications sit there yeah me too I'll reply to that tomorrow <laughs> I'll get to that in an hour yeah. if I respond to that it's going to be a shit answer like just learning to let things sit for a minute yep. So and then be like okay I can read this message properly I can interpret their tone properly I can yeah. not miss a sentence and misunderstood what they fucking said like yeah, even my coaching business now is like I, I've told my guys like message me on WhatsApp 24 hours a day is fine I don't care if you send me a message at 3am because it won't be turned on yeah. but I will only reply when I'm sitting at my computer the trade off to that is it'll be less instant but it'll be way higher quality yeah, I agree and that's what I'm leaning on at the moment yeah it's like you don't have me on call but when I respond, it means something. Yeah. Yeah. And even telling people where to, like being strict with that, like this yeah. needs to go here. Yeah. Um, if you put this in here, I'll get back to you. Like just having your rules. Yeah. Because sometimes when when it comes to coaching, like I'm happy to talk to my clients outside of coaching. Like I've got yeah, so many I would hang out with. Like, Banter with me on Instagram. Yeah. And Ooh, I do hang out like. with them. Yeah. 
but I want to be able to just talk shit and things get lost in the conversation. I don't want to be like talking shit and then someone's like, hey, uh, what do you think about this for my diet or whatever? It's like, no, no, this goes somewhere where I sit down and I'm like prepared to give you that, give you that response. Yeah. Because you want to, some people want to get back to those people because they think that the response time is where the value is. Yeah. It's actually what you say is where the value is. And if you don't have the time because you're just like in the middle of something that you can't give to it, yeah, you probably should be better off going, this goes here and when I sit here, I'm better mm. to address whatever it is. Especially if you communicate it. Like these are the boundaries <laughs> is how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. In that, like when I made the WhatsApp move, I've only had, I think maybe one person sort of not be too happy about it. But when I yeah. made the move to commit to WhatsApp, it, yeah, I think most people, because I was getting like, I, I know you're busy. No, like I hate getting it. I hate yeah. it. When yeah, my well, clients say, like, it's okay, I know you're busy. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Mm. Like, <laughs> oh, as service in, is a service. If you don't do something, they say, it's okay, I know you're busy. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Or it's like, I know you're busy, but it's like, not too busy because I've made the commitment. Yeah. So put it here and it'll get done at a high quality. And if it doesn't, it's unacceptable. Yeah. So, yeah. And know that I deem it unacceptable. I'm not taking the piss out of you because I can't have trainers that fucking deliver programs three weeks late and shit all the time. Mm. They always have their whole career. Mm. So I, that, if I get that message, I'm so upset. Yeah, I hate it. Yeah. Which is good. Keeps yeah. the quality high. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. yeah. Did your values change at all? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah it's interesting. Well, I guess they're probably going to, right? Just the... Actually, I actually haven't found it. Um... Just with the expansion, different things matter. Yeah. Expansion and probably like fucking most life changing <laughs> moment ever is eight yeah. to ten weeks away. So Yeah. Yeah. Cause like dependability probably leans into that too. Yeah. It's like I need my wife to know. I need my son to know. Like hmm. it's just really cool thing actually. It's so it's like tangent on the dependability thing. Yeah. So I've decided I want to do mornings. Like with biscuit, oh yeah, like that's gonna be my thing. Yeah, the drop so I'll probably like start at show. nine yeah. from now. So it's like I'll do first feed, I'll do first whatever. You take time, get ready, do whatever you need to do. Yeah, I've got the next three hours or whatever. And then we were talking about it because it leaves open the night time. Mm. So if I need to work to nine o'clock, I can. Yeah. But if I have to be somewhere at three o'clock, it doesn't work. If the day turns to shit too, you can sort it out. And yeah. still have had the time, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, and then Amy said this is like, people will just like tell their kid that they'll leave a toy. So like they know they've been in the room. And I was like, that's cool. Yeah. So like you come home, kids asleep. It's just like you have a toy that you put in there and it's be like, dad's been here. Yeah. And then you go to bed. I was like, that's sick. That's a good idea. And that, the, the more of that stuff, I was like, fuck, in terms of dependability, doing what you say you're going to do mm. with a kid. Certainly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and then, yeah, carrying that over with like, we've just introduced seven new team members. Yeah. That all need to know that like, I can go to bed when I need to. Mm. This will get done when it needs to get done. It'll deliver. Because mm. like a lot of this building stuff at the moment, we're like, eh. We just set it up and we'll find the holes and we'll plug them. Yeah. And they, but they need to know and trust that like, we'll do it. We'll find them and we'll fix it. Yeah. Like we're all going through this build phase together, mm. but depend that on us that it'll be right. Yeah. When we get it there. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool. But yeah, in terms of other values, I don't think much else changed. Just maybe their level of importance sort of moved around a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, more focused on quality than... I tried to get away from like hard work. work. Yeah, me too, man. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Mine didn't even make it in. Yeah, I didn't write it down yesterday. It's maybe still in that top 10, but I would from more from like a training standpoint, just doing hard things because I think it's important. Yeah, you know um, how Loz said last, you know, like how you don't... She doesn't care if you go to the gym because going to the gym is easy for you. Yeah, yeah. So I think with the hard work thing, it's kind of same now for yeah. me. It's like, that's not something I can hang my hat on because I'm just a hard worker. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, you know, we always like, do we have it? Yeah. 
we we have it. Yeah. Like we have it. It's like burners go on mm-hmm. fucking late yeah. nights, early mornings, whatever it is, like deadlines, yeah. et cetera. Like, so I don't need to, like, I'm not going to feel unfulfilled if I don't reflect on, did I work hard today? Yeah. You know, I, th- I don't think that's a thing anymore. Yeah. Where when you're younger and you're trying to work it out and it's like, you know, the reps and the grunt work is like where you stack that proof. Yeah. But then it's it's like refining it is where the magic is now, I think, or where the, not necessarily the fulfillment, but it's like, I'd rather be like, I, I can do three hours of work that would take someone 10 hours. Yeah. And it's, but, yeah. And it, but it's and great. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where I'm like, yeah, I don't look back on my day and be like, how I mean, long did I do. sit at yeah. the desk for? Yeah. I'm like, what got done and how did it get done? And was it good? Yeah. Yeah, I agree a hundred percent. I think that comes from another laws thing. It's like you have a perception that people like you for what you do, not who you are. Yeah. So the hard work thing's like, well, I'm doing heaps, so you should like me. Yeah. Versus just like, this is who I am. Yeah. There's a there's a tremendous amount of influence as a leader, as an influencer, mm. to what you do. show the I do thing. Yeah. Yeah. So we've done it. Yeah, I think it's different. This is an interesting transition as well. Early days PT, <clears throat> that influence is a very close relationship because it's your client. Mm. So what you do matters. Do you train? Do you walk the walk? Do you mm. eat well? Do you take care of yourself? Do you show up on time? Do you do all the things that you are demanding of them? Yeah. Do you do fucking budgeting when you tell your clients to track macros? Mm. Those things. Yeah. The bigger you expand the less they see of those things. Those those little things probably matter as much. Do you reckon doing those things, though, shows off an energy that people just expect? Yeah. And I... Because I, like, I, look, I look at... So, say when we went to Empire, right, and we saw Aaron. Yeah. He didn't tell us about what his day was like, but you kind of assumed what his day was like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, he's going to have... He's got, what, 80 businesses? Mm-hmm. So, like, at some point, some people saw him doing the thing. Yeah. And they saw his day. Mm-hmm. And then the less connect, the less in and the more out and just doing whatever he had to do, the less people saw of it. But, like, it's, like, either other people, like, his reputation has preceded him kind of thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're a representation of it. So, like, is how you, like, it, like that big dick energy we talk about. Yeah. Like, is, if you do all of those things, do you have this... Do you yeah. act in this way that people are just like, this person does? Yes, yeah, so it's almost stuff. like what you do influences or is a representation of who you are as well. It's a weird overlap there. Yeah. Because it's like... Because if you do all the stuff, it's, you, a, it's a stack of proof. Yeah, so Which you, makes you feel and you who act, you are. And you act in a certain way. And people represent that. Yeah. Because imagine if you didn't do the things you said you were going to do and you didn't work out. Yeah how how you would react how and you walked like anytime something got hard yeah and you walked away yeah but that's that's who you are right well yeah yeah so but then it's like well but what if you did it but if you did it it changes who you are i understand yeah. <laughs> oh man yeah it's a weird cycle. are we are we we're really opening a can here yeah i th- i think the other consideration is where i was going with like the circle of influence yeah your circle of influence is different to the people you care about. Totally. So like your inner circle, if you can look at your wife and go, if I went and got a job tomorrow, she would still love me. Yeah. That's who you are, not what you do. Mm. And like, I would still be your friend. Good to know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can still, I can quit. Yeah, it's like get out. like I don't I don't <laughs> yeah, get yeah. to the end of the day and be like, well, Jason didn't execute today. Fuck that crap. Yeah, this guy's on my hit list. It's like no, I still love Jason. It's fine. Yeah. So I think as much as do as you, much as what you do can be a reflection of who you are, there's a lot of people that do shit that are still pieces of shit. Yeah. So I don't care what you do. Do you think you're it, still a dog? Do you think? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Do you think it changes though if someone? Is it assuming a role of leadership? 
in the circle of influence, yeah, what you do matters. Yeah, in your inner circle, I think you need the confidence from your inner circle that you as a person are of value. To be able to step into the circle of influence and not get lost in, because that's the problem, right? It's becoming neurotic about what you do, because that's all you're valuable for. Uh, totally, that's the problem. Correct. Yeah, it's uh, like I'm only that. valuable if. Yeah, and if I don't do that, then you know people think this of me or yeah. whatever. So yeah. it's when you don't finish the task, you go to bed like, and you can't sleep, and I'm fucking failing, and I'm not doing yeah. enough, and I'm shit, yeah, or this person thinks this. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't train today. I didn't, like, whatever. Yeah. But I guarantee if it's, like, if I fell short on a day, Mm. my wife would be like, so? Yeah. Until tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) It's like, like, our relationship doesn't depend on my output at work. Agreed. But if I was the type of person that never showed up, that would be a real problem. Mm. Because that's the who you are thing, right? Yeah. That's, yeah, because that's going to manifest itself elsewhere as well. Or it's going to rotate yeah. head elsewhere, right? Yeah, because I can't trust you. I can't depend on you. I yeah, can't. And whenever something pops up and needs to be addressed, you run away from it. Yeah. You yeah. never have those hard conversations. like Especially as a male. It's like, yeah. protect, provide. Yeah. Be dependable. Yep. If you're not, like, <laughs> yeah. that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. That was a good tangent. That, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's why I've t- taken hard work out. Yeah. Because I was. Yeah, was I, like, I don't want to have that thought as well of like, did I work hard enough? Because I already do it at the gym. Yeah. Like it's, like it's, yeah. you know, every day I'm like, did I? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. It's and like, it's the same as like the body dysmorphia thing, right? It's like, yeah. I'm not of value because I don't have apps. Yeah. That's the, what you do, not who you are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. So, yes, you need to do the thing, but I think doing the thing is a representation publicly of who you are for the circle of influence. Mm. And then everyone that we like, trust, respect above us, you have a feeling of who they are. Yeah. So, if it came out tomorrow that every time Rick Shields goes to America, he, like hires a mansion and has like 20 girls come to the house and like just <laughs> fucking goes off yeah. while his wife and kids are at home. Yeah, yeah. I probably wouldn't watch it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because I think he's someone. I Like he's fucking plays off five. He's not an amazing golfer. Yeah. So it's not him playing golf. Yeah, yeah. That's who he is. Yeah. So that that's the that's the thing. Yeah. Cool. Anything else stand out from the day? From the, from the workshop? workshop. Um, or even that you saw in the trainers? What stood out for myself? What I what stood out for myself is like, you know how we'll just like quick fire on the person? Yeah. I've done a lot of work to be that person. Yep. So when I was writing it, I was like trying to find things that I want, I'm not. Mm-hmm. But I really struggled with it so is this like where they live what do they wear what do they drive that stuff yeah yeah, yeah. i i really st- i was i i feel like i've done a lot of work to try and think about who that person is mm-hmm. and adopt that now yeah um obviously like characteristics um even even like habits um it's like being routine based working out always learning yeah um willing to accept feedback um those things like i i i do like obviously no one likes to accept negative feedback right but yeah. willing to accept it dealing with it is going to be a grown up thing right it has to happen yeah um i feel like the person like the 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 b part of it like the b doing the, the mm-hmm. have like i feel like i'm really locking down on the the trying bee. to be this person yeah. thing which made me pretty confident cuz like I'm not that aware of it. Mm. Wasn't that, I'm not that, like I don't sit here and be like, what does future successful Jason do right yeah. now? Yeah. But then when I was writing it all down, I was like, hang on a second. Executing I'm executing like, a lot of this already. Yeah, it's been, so that was really awesome. Yeah. Um, really good. For the group. What's up guys? Another quick break. I just wanted to jump in and tell you guys, remind you guys about the STC Fit Learning Mentorship. 
Now, our mentorship's been running since about 2016, where we've developed trainers through their first year of business in personal training and allowed them to leapfrog the first five years of mistakes that we made. If you're currently studying, looking to finish in the next month or so, or you're looking for someone to help you out with mentoring and all that kind of stuff, jump on, have a look at the details for the mentorship at stcfitlearning.com. Head to programs and mentorship and all the details are there and you can come and be an STC Fit coach for an entire year. Includes all of our education and direct mentoring from our head coaches. Back to the episode. The biggest standout is that like they're all getting in each other's ways. They get their own. Yep. So yeah, so they're getting in each other. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come to stand out. Everyone will sabotage you. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. getting in their own ways. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, like you can see that the things that need to get done are only not getting done because of whatever they're telling themselves is the reason yeah. to not do it. Do Whether you- it's beneficial. Mm. Like, it's like, oh, if I don't, like, they'll just sell themselves some narrative. Like, yeah. I put a, a post, I uh, just voiced some thoughts today online, which is what I tend to do now. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was like, how to make zero progress. Sweat the small stuff and the what ifs so much that you justify never taking action. Yeah. So it seems like yeah. there's so much of that because the confidence is in there. Yeah. But yeah. how do you make, how do you get confident? Yeah, unless you fuck it up correct yeah 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 i felt that too and i wonder i wonder if that is a symptom so i said earlier like when do you transition from focusing on hard skills to characteristics i wonder if that's the problem characteristics come from lived experience as well let's be let's be yeah but i think you can pursue it and i think you can find evidence of learning it and if you put the same do you feel that we'll adopt those characteristics faster than someone who's 22 though? Yeah, I just wonder. We say like your business will only grow as fast as you can, right? Mm. I wonder if you can identify that it's actually not your sets and reps that's holding you back. Like your ability to write down sets and reps for a client. Your ability to train people has nothing to do with it. Yeah. In my opinion. So if you can identify that, because even when we're like, what did you see? I know some people were like, I don't want to really say because if I put it out there, then it's real and it's scary. Yeah. So everyone was like, oh, I did a big deadlift and I was huge. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. come on. What did you actually fucking see? Yeah. Because no one wants to actually say like, I own a gym. I have a team. I make this much money or whatever it is because it's like, if I put it out there, yeah. I can fail. What if it. I fail? Yeah, yeah. But then they focus on... <sighs> When they get to like the what's missing, it's like, oh, I don't know. I'm not good at nutrition. I'm not yeah. good at social media. Yeah, I don't I'm know biomechanics or something. Like, it's Yeah, something. but it's like, well, there's only one way to get better at social media. There's only one way to get better at programming. There's only yeah. one way to get better at whatever. Yeah. And it's like, buy the fucking ticket to the workshop. Yeah. Post. Fuck it up. Get it wrong. Yeah. Get a negative comment. Mm. Like, you well, have to. Yeah, so that's, that's so, where I think... Because we've had lived experience allows us to yeah. manage that though, right? I, I agree. But it's yeah. it's like, can you say to someone, stop focusing on social media, start focusing on being the person who? Because mm. it's, not, it's not social media because that'll show up. If you're not posting on social media, that fear is showing up everywhere. Of course it is. It's just the one thing you're looking at right now, social yeah, media. It just amplifies the insecurity you have, right? Yeah, so if you... Yeah. Are like, well, the characteristic that I lack is an ability to try and fail and a confidence required to try and fail. Yeah. Because maybe I believe that I, my value is what I do, not who I am. Mm. So if I do put up a post and no one likes it, that means no one likes me. If you invested the same time you spent watching reels about social media or YouTube about social media into characteristic development, reading a book, YouTube, fucking, you can, I've curated my feeds to be like that heaps of times. Mm. Do you make faster progress? Of course you do. Focusing on that. Certainly. And then how do you convince someone that they need to do that? I don't know if you, <laughs> yeah, if you have to be very influential. You have to be very influential. Yeah. Yeah. I spoke about it the other day. I had, um, 
a, a call with someone. And they're like, I'm so shit at this. 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 Yeah, it's just like, that's not going to happen. And then once, it's like, fuck, I just feel like such a beginner. I'm like, good. Yeah. Be that. Stop saying your shit. Yeah. I, you're a beginner. I'm a beginner at this. Because you're a beginner at everything you've ever done in your life mm. and you're pretty good at most shit. Yeah. You're an incredible personal trainer. You're an incredible athlete. Mm. Lots of other shit in your life you're really fucking good at. Yeah. That you were shit at. Yeah. So just be the beginner. And if you can... Like I, I had actually... I don't know if it was a value or it was like a habit thing. And I was like, forever be the student. It's any time I think like, I've got it. That's when things go backwards. Except for this weekend at the programming workshop. <laughs> I fucking got that. <laughs> no, but I, you no, know I what? I don't. Because I've done this workshop four times. Yeah, you always change it. I've shredded it and built it back up. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's a good mentality I have for growth. I do think there's value in being the teacher at the same time. Yeah. Where we speak and act like this because we tell other people sometimes this yeah. is what we do. Yeah. But I think from like, it's not like we don't sit there and be like, we've, we've, you know, programming completed it, mate. Yeah. Yeah. We never do it like that. Yeah. So I definitely like the idea of like always being the student, always learning, never thinking that you've got an entire lock on anything. Yeah. But maybe there's some instances like in clients, like we talked about trainers can do it with their clients. If you want to be confident, if you want to stack your proof, if you want to be a good communicator, if you want to present, if you want to mm. be better at making content and stuff, get good at talking to your clients yeah, and teaching them. Yeah. Because that's where this, that's essentially what you're trying to do on the internet. Yeah. Because the social media one's the biggest one, right? Mm. Like when we talk about, yeah. It's like yeah. once you get busy in your gym, it's like, I want to try and expand my name and my brand. Yeah. And then they just like... It's scary out there. Yeah, it's scary. It's like yeah. if you get really good at communicating to your clients and teaching your clients, you should be able to just yeah. carry over that to whatever you make and, and create and just think about it in the eyes that it's for them. Yeah. Yeah. And fucking block people. Anyone that's getting... <laughs> anyone that's taking your emo your energy, your emotional energy and focus away from your goals, they need to go. Yeah. I did it yesterday. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Had two people that ironically blocked me on Instagram yep and then watch every single story every single day <laughs> on Facebook yeah so it's like it's time to go it's like the fact that it crossed my mind when I posted once I was like no yeah gone yeah it's it, it, your your energy is finer yeah and it's like if, if it makes you hesitate it stops you from helping one other person mm. Fuck that. Yeah. 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 Can't have it. Yeah. But yeah, to that person who's younger, who doesn't have that lived experience and, you know, like we've had the things have fucked up and this person's come at me and mm. the pitchforks have come out. And so we're, we're, we're going to be able to adopt these characteristics faster. Yeah. But the only way we did that is put ourselves in situations where things could have gone right and they could have gone wrong. Yeah. There's no other way. So you're like, how do we get the people to do it? Yeah. It's like, it's the thousand, it's the, it's the hundred phone calls to make 200 grand or the thousand phone yeah. calls to make 200 grand. It's like, yeah. you know, we don't know, Yeah. but like, you've got to try. Yeah. You've got to do it and see what happens. You yeah. know, you've got to have that mentality where it's like, nothing's a sure thing, but doing something's better than nothing. And I'm only going to work. I'm only going to be able to, 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 to stack this proof by doing. Yeah. There's no other way. Yeah, and that's how you've become confident in anything else you do. Yeah, and if you look at it, every person that, like, there's not a lot of people that walk around with a stack of proof without have with, that don't actually have it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. there's not they're like, how did you get to here? Yeah, like, how are you able to stand up on the weekend and just present for a whole day about yeah. what you do without someone saying, "That's not fucking true." Yeah, or that, or what about this, or what about that, like. There's not a single thought in my mind for the weekend coming where if someone stumps me, I'm going to go, cool, this, this is one of the holes. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, how do you get to volume allocation right now for, you, for your clients with your physique training program? Yeah. What do you do right now? I guess. You make shit up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that only, that only comes from having the proof. Yeah. 
and that was there was a long yeah. for a long period of time we yeah. were just trying to find find and figure things out yeah yeah i think i'm up to 120 preps yeah it's like it works <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah exactly i've won one one yeah it's that didn't pb yeah it's one that's the but that's the one that made my, you better too. That's, that's my feelings. No, they just didn't train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, like, I was trying to stick up for you. Like there. They just trained two twice per week for the whole thing. It's like, uh, well, okay, that person doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Does in my head. I can't let it go. <laughs> yeah, it's bad coaching. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I, if there's any advice I could give, is start working on your characteristics earlier. <laughs> yeah, you still need the hard skills. Don't get me wrong. Like, we're fucking trying to sell... You can't buy them now because it's already done. But yeah. We're trying to sell tickets to a programming workshop. Yeah. Like, hard skills matter. So, But even coming to the workshop, like, you have to be willing. Let me tell you how my programming paradigm model happened. Chad Wesley Smith came to Australia and went to PTC South Melbourne. It doesn't even exist anymore. It was not that expensive. Hmm. Then it was just like 90 minute program workshop. We went in, he introduced the idea of volume landmarks for squat, bench, deadlift. Hmm. No back, no accessories, no nothing. Just like, this is how often you should, or how much of these three you should do. And then he gave us examples. I think he did the recovery score. And then it was like, we just wrote a program that had that much volume in the session. Yeah. And I was like, this is the closest to quantifying a program I've ever been. Yeah. And it's absolutely nowhere near it. <laughs> like, I was still like, I don't know if this will work. Yeah. And if it doesn't, I still don't know what to do. Yeah. So, it's not the hard skill. Because everyone can do that. Mm. And they maybe give it to three clients. And it's like, eh, maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. The characteristic is growth, learning, curiosity, those things. To then go home and go, something in this. Yeah, how do I make this work for me? All right. I need to have back training because I train girls that want to look good. And I think that having a big back is really important to powerlifting. Chad doesn't. That's fine. Mm. All right. I'll message Chad. If I was going to do this exact same thing, but I wanted to put back in it, what would you do? I think it should be the same as squats because grip strength, actual loading, hmm. loads a little bit lower, but you're adding grip strength and similar actual load. He's like, I agree. They're pretty much one-to-one -one in terms of fatigue. Hmm. Done. Okay, so now I've built a greater model. Hmm. Then I was like, okay, what, what other level can I take this to? Well, a squat's not the same as leg extension. Hmm. Let's try and write something. Let's try it. Yeah. Wrote it out. Was really proud of it. Sent it to Jace. Like, I had no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, so this isn't communicatable yet. Yeah. Then worked on that. Then Mike, who co-wrote the programming book mm. with Chad, was in Australia. I drove to fucking Frankston. It was minus four in a powerlifting gym and watched Mike talk for 90 minutes just to go ask him at the end, this is the model I have. Do you think it'll work? He's like, yep, you need to change this. Sweet. Cost me $300 and five hours of my time Yeah, to get the guy I thought was the best to say, yes, it's good. Yeah. Most people, when you don't work on characteristics and it's just hard skills, never do you're just the, looking for the answer. Yeah. They probably never do that. Though. They never drive. They don't drive. They don't, they don't ask. Correct. As well. Because yeah. it's just... It's just a skill thing. Just do it. Yep. There's no curiosity. There's no... Like, imagine if he just turned around and went, that makes no fucking sense yeah. at all. Yeah. I'm sure... Actually, Mike might. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm sure he wouldn't, but Mike might. Yeah, he probably He's pretty would. savage. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you've got it. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm willing to put myself in this position to be really uncomfortable, maybe be wrong, maybe fuck it up, yep. maybe have to burn this whole thing and start again. Yeah. To go to the next level. Yeah. To get it good. To get it somewhere. And that, like, I don't know if I'm conveying this well, 
but the characteristic of growth, learning, try, fail, pursuing something, willingness to show up, willingness to look stupid. Yeah. Those things, this is exactly the same story for social media. Yeah. Like, did this, did this, did this, tried it for a month, didn't work. This part of it did. Oh, cool. Did this, did this, did this. That worked. Yeah. Because then I just took the program and at the time we had 15 trainers. I think we ran one of our lift off with like 36 people yeah, or something. Yeah, was huge. It was like, cool, I'm writing all of the preps. And then all of them PB'd. It's like, okay. Then we went to rep and reserve. I oh, fucked, that doesn't work. Yeah. At peak, that does not work. No. So, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, conveying... The idea that the characteristic is what, even from a hard skill set, if you don't have it, you're not willing to try it, you're not willing to... The first diet Jason and I ever wrote for a group was like the dumbest fucking thing ever. It's fucking hilarious. It was so inaccurate. Yeah. And didn't even make sense. Yeah. But we tried it. And actually did get pretty good results. It did. <laughs> it probably gave a lot of people disordered eating afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so I was fed. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you just have to be willing. Yeah, we don't get here unless we try. Mm. Yeah. Like, you don't get anywhere unless you roll the dice and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, and after all that, I'm happy to walk in the room Saturday and some or Friday and someone will say, that doesn't make sense. Mm. And go, you know what? You're right. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Yeah, same. But if you apply everything, it'll still work. <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> but I want to fix that hole. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I, I might not feel like that immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it might take me a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. To after a fuck you. Yeah, and then I'll be okay. <laughs> Come with the pitchforks then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No. We won't jump into the others. No. So next week we're going to... Yeah, next week's fine. It's not too late. Um, We'll unpack... Oh, yeah, true. We'll unpack people. getting your business ready for Christmas. Yeah. Um, holiday period yeah but in saying that if you don't have your clients 100% every single one of them on direct debit right now do that before next week's episode or next week's episode is useless yeah because <laughs> yeah. you can't fucking tell yeah, yeah I'm sorry <laughs> it's little, real hard <laughs> very little control in that relationship <laughs> yeah yeah so get them on direct debit get yeah. them to sign some terms and conditions if you I haven't so. already that's your top priority and then next week we will step by step how to make sure hmm. you have a business to come back to after Christmas. You can even get paid over Christmas. Yep. And maybe even grow your business over Christmas. Yep. All right. Thanks, fam. Um, I don't think we have anything to really sell at the moment. No. Oh, pretty good. Social media will have come out when this comes out. So that's exciting. We do social media management now. Oh, boom. I was like, Jace is like, what the fuck are you talking about? We just said social media. I was like, everything's social media <laughs> at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we have STC socials now uh, with Crystal. You will have seen probably the announcement Thursday. So if you do have any questions or want to know anything more about that, maybe you want your socials taken care of over the Christmas period or you need some help. Um, we basically start from whatever you need. So there's an assessment where you can kind of work with Crystal, what you're doing well, what you're not doing well, what you need to work on. Then there's like a done with you kind of program where you'll both navigate, create some content and all that kind of stuff. And then more for like the very busy sold out, maybe you've got a team uh, or a big business and you just want to fucking outsource the whole thing. We also provide that service as done well. for you. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So yeah, go check that out. Just stcfit.com. Go to the learn tab. You'll see socials in there. And it'll be there, ready to go. Thanks for listening. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Catch you next time, guys. Subscribe is the number one influencer for our reach. So that would mean a lot to us if we see that number go up every week. Okay, thanks. Bye.